everyone so today's video is going to be a haul it's going to be a spring slash summer haul and it's also going to be a giveaway yes yet another giveaway for you guys but stay tuned for that that will probably be later on in the video but right now I need some advice from you guys you guys know I have a subscription with Shimit and um, Every month you get a credit to order one new pair of shoes that is designed by Steve Madden and um, you pay $79 each month for each pair of shoe you order. And for the month of May, I have not ordered the shoe that I want yet. I have the credit, but I haven't ordered the shoe that I want yet because I literally can't choose. There are about four different shoes that I want, but I cannot choose which one I want. So I wanted y'all's advice on which shoe I should get for the month of May. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a couple of pictures of the shoes that I'm interested in getting and hopefully you guys can help me decide which one I should get for this month. So what I want you guys to do is comment down below and let me know which shoe I should get for the month of May, which one you think is the cutest one. But of course, I literally like all of them. I, if I could choose, or if I had the money to get every shoe that they have to offer each month, I probably would. But since I don't, I need y'all's help. If you haven't signed up with Shoemint yet, I encourage you to click on the link below and sign up. But until then, please let me know which shoe I should order for this month. Thanks you guys. So now I'm going to get started with my spring slash summer haul. I have a little bit of everything to show you guys, so get comfortable and stay tuned. So the first items that I'm gonna show you guys today are smell good stuff. There's stuff that I got from Bath & Body Works. Bath & Body Works is currently having a sale where you buy three and you get three free. So you know I took advantage of that sale and I'm gonna show you guys the scents and body sprays and lotions that I got. Um, I'm horrible at trying to um, explain scents and stuff like that. So just know that all these scents are fruity. They are summer scents and they smell really good. That's basically all I can really say about them. But other than that, I'll just show you guys the ones that I got. So the first one I got was Malibu Heat. And I got the lotion in Malibu Heat. I really, really love this scent. I think this is one of my favorite ones out of all of them. If I could only buy one set, it would definitely be Malibu Heat. I think Malibu Heat is definitely a really good summer scent. So I got Malibu Heat in the lotion and then I got Malibu Heat in the mist. My second favorite scent is Pink Chiffon. So I got that in the lotion, and I also got Pink Chiffon in the mist. So after that, I figured that's enough lotion for me. I just wanted some more body sprays because I love mixing my body sprays and making my own scent. Usually if I wear a scent, I try to wear more than one scent. I try to like mix three at a time. So I also got Paris Amour in the body mist and I got country chic next I'm going to show you guys some clothes that I got and um, I'll be giving away one of the clothes I bought because it doesn't fit me so I figured it might fit one of y'all so anyways I'm going to start with this shirt you guys have probably seen this shirt on my Instagram and you've probably also seen it on my blog because I love this shirt and it seems like y'all love this shirt just as much as I do and if you notice it still has the tag I haven't worn it yet although it might seem like I've worn it already but I actually took a picture of it while I was trying it on in the fitting room which I tend to do a lot and posted them on Instagram and my blog and whatever just to show you guys you know what's out there so like I said I haven't worn it yet but um, I did try it on in the store with some green shorts and it looked awesome. I also tried it on 
with the jeans I wore to the mall that day and it looked awesome with some jeans too. So as you can see, it is a high-low shirt. It's very, very, very high in the front, meaning that it will show your belly. And then it's very, very low in the back. So the back will actually cover up your butt. So I really like it. It's um, a very, very, very pale pink and it has black polka dots and it's a very lightweight shirt so you can get away with wearing this in the summer once it gets you know a little hotter um, I paid $19.80 for this shirt and I got it in a medium because the small was a little too small for me although I normally wear a small the small was a little too small and I really love this shirt it's definitely one of my favorite shirts um, that I bought recently the next shirt I got is yet another chiffon sheer blouse. It is also a high-low shirt, although it's not that big of a difference between the back and the front, but it's still a high-low shirt. And it is a gorgeous pink. I really love this pink. And I don't know if you'll be able to notice, but there are cutouts in this shirt. They are a flower-shaped cutout, so I don't know if you'll be able to see it on my camera but I think it's really cute and it's lightweight and it has quarter length sleeves and I really love this one I got this one in a small and I got it for 1980 the next high-low shirt I got is from Target and it is a neon yellow so and it's lacy, which I really like as well. I got this top in an extra small, so it is really, really fitted on me, which I really like. And um, and for this shirt, I paid $17.99. So definitely check out Target for this shirt. They also have it in a green and some other colors. And from Target, I also got some leopard print pants and they're basically denim leopard print pants and I really like these these were $22.99 and I got these in a size 5 and they're skinny jeans next I got another high low shirt and this also has lace and it has polka dots um, it's a little bit of everything and this high-low shirt is a bit different it's actually low in the front and high in the back and it's very loose fitting as well so I paid 1080 for this shirt I got it in a size medium and as you can see it's long in the front and it has lace and it's shorter in the back So I really like this shirt. Next, I got some shorts from Target, but these shorts are different than regular shorts. These shorts actually look like a skirt, which I really like. It looks like a pleated skirt, but they are actually shorts. You can see the split right down here. So I really like how it has the tight band in the front and then the pleats down here at the bottom. And for this, I paid $16.99 and I got it in a size small. Next, I got some faux leather pants. And I got these from Forever 21. So they're faux leather in the front and then they're cotton stretchy in the back. And let me tell you, these pants are really, really tight. Every time I put them on, they kind of make like a stretching noise. It sounds like basically the um, the leather-like material is stretching out and ripping, but it's really not. So anyways, I paid $17.80 for these pants, and I got them in a small. And they are skinny all the way down. Next, I got... Some more polka dot um, clothes. I got these shorts, and these are really short shorts, 
really short high-waisted shorts I like the fact that it has these pocket details in the front and then it has no pockets in the back I like them a lot and very fitted I love the way these fit I got this in a small for $19.80 next I got um, a really blousy top this is basically a burnt rusty yellow and you can see it's very very flowy and it has lace detailing at the top it also has buttons in the front I paid $19.80 for this and it's a size small so the next item I have to show you is a dress that you've already seen me wear in an outfit of the day it's a bodycon dress and it is color block it has pink and uh, orangey coral color and it fits really nicely you've probably seen me in it already and this dress was 50% off of 1980 and I got it in a small so since I had tried this dress on and I knew that I loved it and I knew that it fit well and um, I just liked the fit in the color blocking and all that stuff I knew that I wanted another one and they had it in a black and white and I knew I wanted the black and white but at the time they did not have the black and white in my size I wanted a small and since I'd already tried on the small I knew the small fit right so I went to another forever 21 and I found it in a small so I got it and I didn't try it on Sadly, the small in this one fits a little differently. Even though it's the same exact dress, um, it fits a little differently. The small in this one is a little big for me and it's also a little longer um, on my thigh or it comes down a little longer on my thigh than the other one does. The other one's pretty short and this one, um, like I said, comes down a little longer. Um, I could probably still wear it and get away with it and look cute in it, but. But I don't know I just don't like the fit as much and the thing is also when I tried it on I weighed a little less I ended up gaining a little bit of weight recently so if I tried it on again it might actually fit me the way I want it to but I had already decided I'm just gonna give this away to y'all so um, if you're interested in this bodycon dress it has you know a little bit of a sleeve and if you want to know the fit you can definitely check out my um, outfit of the day wearing the other one so if you're interested in receiving this for free in this giveaway um, definitely enter and for this giveaway all I want you to do is once again answer the question about she meant which shoe I should get but before you answer the question write enter me and then answer the question about which shoe I should get for she meant so I know that you're entering the contest and not just helping me out um, figure out what shoe I should get okay the next item I want to show you is an item I have been saving for um, I have saved for this so many times and then I have a problem where I save and then I spend the money on something else so I saved for this and then I went and bought a wig and then I saved for it and then I went and bought a new camera and then I saved for it and I went and bought something else so finally I was like you know what I'm not gonna buy anything else I'm not gonna go to the store I'm not gonna go shopping I'm not gonna do anything I'm not even gonna go online shopping I'm going to save for this and buy it um, before the summer comes because I really wanted it for the spring slash summer so I'm going to show you guys what I saved for and what I finally got and my rationale for getting what I got so as you can probably tell there is a Louis Vuitton bag behind me so that's you know has to do with what I got there's a Louis Vuitton duffel bag and there's a Louis Vuitton receipt and there's also a Louis Vuitton box so you guys know what it is I got me a Damier what is this I forgot what it is okay I got me a Damier Azure Speedy 25 yep 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 and let me tell you, this bag is small. Okay, I haven't worn it yet, so I have a feeling that when I actually wear it and put stuff in it, it's gonna be bigger than what I expect it to be or what it even looks like, because that's how it is with the Speedy 30. But the reason why I got this in a Speedy 25 instead of a Speedy 30 is because, as you can see, this print is light and the handles are light. 
and I'm worried that I'm just gonna mess this bag up because my makeup transfers and I get my makeup on my hands when I move my um, hair out my face and um, I just have a feeling I'm gonna end up transferring makeup all over this bag and let me tell you you cannot just wipe this bag off you might be able to wipe off the canvas but you can't just wipe off the handles. I already got makeup on the handles and I tried getting it off and I can't. And I looked online for um, some videos on how to clean the handles and the things they say you can clean it with are very harsh chemicals and I'm not about to put some very harsh chemicals on my brand new bag to clean it off. So I'd rather have a little bit of of a makeup stain or whatever that is barely noticeable than to put some harsh chemicals on it right now since it is brand new. But yeah, that was my rationale for buying such a small bag because I literally do not want to wear this every day. I don't even want to be able to wear it every day. I just want to wear it when I dress up. So I figured the smaller version would be better for me because I just know I'm going to end up messing it up with um, makeup that transfers. And even the inside of it is a tan, a very light tan color. So um that's gonna get messed up so easily too i just don't get how people get like the bigger version of this bag because it just it gets dirty so easily and i've seen people with the speedy 30 and theirs are almost brown and the handles are super super dark which i don't mind the handles getting dark but having this part of the bag be brown to me is just not cute at that point i think it's time to stop using it as much but anyways i just I really love it I really really love it and I love the fact that it's small and I think it's just you know the fact that it's small makes it not an everyday bag it makes it more of a bag that I just will wear on the weekends when I get dressed up and I go out and I go out to dinner whatever this will be the bag that I use so um, you're probably wondering how much this bag costs and sadly with tax it costs $810 Yes, $810. Yes, the prices for Louis Vuitton's increased. Um, my Speedy 30 was about that price last year. And now the Speedy 20s are, or the Speedy 25s are $810. So yeah, that's what I paid for. And my parents actually have no idea why I bought this. They want me to return it. But yeah, I'm not returning it. I love it. So yeah this is my baby for now I just have to try to not get makeup on it <sighs> it's gonna be so hard not getting makeup on it I know but I really really love it and I have saved so long for it and I'm very happy with it um, I have a video on my lifestyle black beauty channel where I you know it's just a little vlog of me going to buy it and on my Lifestyle Black Beauty channel, I will also upload a video where I compare it with my Speedy 30 in the Damier um, Ebony print. And I'll just do a detailed, in-depth um, review on it so you can see the material, the canvas, the leather, everything that you need to know about it. And you'll also get to see how it looks like, um, I guess, against my body so you can see how the smaller size looks like on someone of my height and stature. So hopefully this video wasn't too long and wasn't boring and hopefully it was helpful as well just in case you're interested in any of these things. And hopefully you also enter in my giveaway if you're interested, if you think that dress will fit you or if you think that dress will fit someone you know, if you have a daughter or a niece that you think that dress will look nice on, definitely enter my giveaway. You can enter as many times as you want a day. You can enter 10 times a day if you want. Just don't spam my video because I don't want it to be taken down. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Um, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye y'all!